after the Civil War, the United States faced the need for a larger peacetime military to occupy the South and protect settlers on the western frontier. In the summer of 1866, July 28th to be exact, the United States Congress passed legislation establishing a peacetime military. Before the legislation was passed, a hotly debated issue concerned the inclusion of African Americans in the regular army. Some politicians made the then radical suggestion that the army fully integrate African Americans into its ranks. Other politicians wanted the army to remain white only. They eventually agreed to maintain the status quo and continue placing African American recruits in segregated units. A provision of the 1866 legislation created six regiments of African American troops, four infantry and two cavalry of approximately 1,000 men each. In August 1866, the 9th and 10th Cavalries were organized. The 9th Cavalry was in Greenville, Louisiana, with most of the original recruits from nearby New Orleans, Louisiana, and Louisville, Kentucky. The 10th Cavalry was at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. Many of the recruits in both units were freed slaves from the North. The assigned mission of these African American troops was to escort the Native Americans from their indigenous homelands to designated reservations. The nickname Buffalo Soldier was bestowed on the troops by the Native Americans as an testament to their valor in battle. The buffalo was a sacred animal to the Native Americans, and they would not bestow its name on the soldiers unless they were worthy adversaries, fighting ferociously to the end and living up to their motto, we can, we will, and ready and forward. The proud acceptance of the name Buffalo Soldier by the African American soldiers was a badge of honor and pride for the troops. The Buffalo Soldiers were sent to the Great Plains along the Rio Grande, New Mexico, Texas, Arizona, Colorado, and into the Dakotas. The duties of the 9th and 10th U.S. Cavalries included guarding the mail, escorting and guarding stagecoaches, cattle drives, railroad crews, and surveyors. They built roads and telegraph lines. They mapped and explored, including mapping vast territories in Arizona and New Mexico, even marking watering holes. They played a major part in building the West and making it safe for the westward expansion. In July 1885, the 10th Cavalry moved west into Arizona. After arriving, troops of the regiment were dispersed throughout the area to cover as much territory as possible. These troops were stationed at Wilpel Barracks, Fort Grant, Fort Thomas, and Fort Apache. In 1913, the 10th Cavalry Buffalo Soldiers were sent to Fort Huachuca and remained there for almost 20 years. They joined General John J. Pershing in the 1916 expedition into Mexico, and during the World War I, they were assigned the mission of guarding the United States Mexican border. Second Lieutenant Henry Ocean Flipper a member of the 10th Cavalry, was the first African-American graduate of the U.S. Military Academy, West Point, class of 1877. Lieutenant Flipper excelled in engineering, law, French, and Spanish. After dismissal from the Army, Henry Ocean Flipper went on to obtain recognition and respect as a surveyor, and in 1890, he opened his own civil mining engineering office in Nogales, Arizona. Joseph S. Flipper II, the grandnephew of Henry Ocean Flipper, has lived in Phoenix since 1945. He has had a long and distinguished teaching career and is an active member of the Greater Southern Arizona Area Chapter of the 9th and 10th Horse Cavalry Association. In 1994, the Arizona Legislature passed and the Governor signed House Joint Resolution 2001 designating a portion of State Route 90 as the Buffalo Soldier Trail. On July 25, 1992, General Colin Powell, then Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, dedicated the Buffalo Soldiers Monument at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, the birthplace of the 10th Cavalry Regiment. The monument stands as a well-deserved tribute 
to the soldiers for their continued excellence and contributions to this state and nation over the years. Despite prejudice, in and out of the military, and being allocated the worst horses, the worst clothing and equipment, these outstanding individuals earned more Congressional Medals of Honor and had the lowest desertion rate of any unit in the Army. Fort Huachuca honors the legacy of the Buffalo Soldiers. 